Jake Paul has just came off of his first loss against the professional boxer Tommy Fury, so where does he go from here? There are a few fights that Jake Paul can still make with a loss on his record and I think there are three big fights Jake can now make. The first fight that makes the most sense right now is the KSI fight. KSI has said he'll be fighting in May against rumored Joe Fournier Jake Paul and KSI should finally have their long-awaited boxing match because with a loss on Jake's record some of the hype for the KSI has gone down and they should fight as soon as possible to prevent even more hype from dying or even the fight never actually happening. The second fight Jake should do is against Nate Diaz in MMA as Jake had said he'll be fighting in MMA this year. But if I could do it in boxing, I could do it in MMA. I'm so dedicated to this that I offered Nate Diaz a two fight deal. First, we box. Then six months later, we fight MMA in the PFL smart cage and lay it all on the line. But as things look right now, the Nate Diaz fight in the ring or in the octagon is looking very unlikely. And thirdly, the most important fight to Jake Paul is the Tommy Fury rematch. Jake Paul went the distance with Tommy Fury and even knocked him down. This is good. Down goes Tommy Fury. But still lost by split decision. This fight was very close and I think Jake deserved a rematch with Tommy, but it shouldn't be an immediate rematch as Jake isn't going to have enough time to gain more experience in one camp. Now that Jake Paul has tasted defeat, I think he should fight KSI in the summer regardless of the outcome of KSI's fight and may then rematch Tommy Fury and then go into MMA. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to know the problem with professionals in YouTube boxing, click here.